Here we are with Danmachi Season 4 Episode 1 and yeah, I watched basically everything before, I just didn't react to it obviously. Um, so I watched Season 1, 2 and 3 and the spin-off and I watched the first trailer I think for Season 4 but I can't recall anything from it because it's been a few months already I think. So this is basically completely blind, I don't know what to expect. But I would say if you like what you see... Or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Yep. It's been a long ride so far. Exactly. But that's just normal. You always have to come overcome new hurdles. Wishing to become a hero. I wonder how high his stats are now. Level 4? Yay! Level 4, I guess. 88,000 or some shit? <laughs> he has extremely high stats. He did a lot of stuff. But I think the min Minotaur got away, right? It ended basically in a draw. No one died. What is Vesta? Oh, her name? Ah. Another name for her. Makes sense, the logo has a flame. Going into the dungeon again? <laughs> what else could there be? They won't tell you. Convent. And the conclusion. Who is this? Luvis. Are they all going for Aina? And then Bell comes in and she's like, Bell! And they're like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And there we go. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I don't think so. Another uh, drop from the guild. Go deep into the dungeon, bro. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> if I had known earlier, then I wouldn't have done it. In Bell is a fast grower. Oh, new gear. Oh my god, he worked. Day and night. Yep, like I said, go even deeper. All the way down. Expedition. But how deep have they? do they have to go? Exactly, he has to go deeper. That's the only way. God damn the booba. In expeditions, you take like other people from other guilds with you, right? I guess Aisha too. I mean, we saw it in the uh, Loki family expedition in season one, where they also took like from the Hest, uh, not from the Hestia, from the from the other families like smiths and stuff. Indeed, you do, <laughs> big time. Odd jobber. Healer, good. Yes, Aisha! I love her. She's awesome. I wish Aisha would have joined Hestia's family. <laughs> oh my god. God, yes! I love her so much. Man, there's so much text and you have to read it so fast again. <laughs> Who's the level 1 supporter? She? She didn't level up so far? Oh, 
I guess she could be good at it. I guess she could do it. Except that he's strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. She did the planning, right? She gets beaten up by him. Dang. I mean, it comes down to the level. <laughs> because that was makes you strong. I mean, yeah. If you are... There's so much going into it. It's not just the level, the rank, but also how high your stats are when you rank up. Good. Alright, let's go. Lesson. And he's he keeps smithing. Hammering that steel. Oh, is this a shield in the background and a breath and a chest plate? Oh, is this Bell's armor? A weapon, so he is not just a shield anymore. What does he want? A spear, a sword? And he's a big guy. <laughs> Give me a discount? That's a good one. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, what's she gonna do? <laughs> yeah, because she's too nice, I guess, and... She's just, uh, she's just buffing everyone, basically. Yeah. Which is still very good, but I mean, if she can't defend herself or can't do anything else. So she needs something else. So maybe some buffs and heals, some other stuff. New magic, maybe attack magic. So basically right now they like gear everyone up and level everyone up, like, um, like train and stuff. Oh. Oh, Grimoire, you read it and then you learn it. Right? Like, belted with fireball. Fireballed. 25th fifth floor is the first of the lower level. Yeah, he is like... He wants to know everything that can await him. It's not just about what you can do, it's also about where you are. Yeah, since he be became an adventurer and he's already level 4 in no time, basically. Dude, I can't wait. <laughs> She's blushing and just daydreaming while looking at him. He's special with his skills. She's head over heels for him. I mean, who isn't? It's all the different girls. It's back and forth. You give, they take. They give, you take. Yeah. The, the children's, the children's do everything. I guess that's just how it is. And now he turns into a big boy. So no one from the Hephaestus family is joining the ex expedition, I guess. Because the other two guys give people to the expedition, but Hephaestus is with them there drinking, and I think she didn't give anyone. And there's his new armor. He takes a blue, and oh my god, Aisha! Oh! I love me some Aisha. Okay, so some people are a bit late. God damn it. <laughs> there they are. Uh, 
Oh yeah, her dreams. I can't remember if her dreams came true. I think they did, right? Somewhat. Exactly. And there's wealth. Oh, it's a big axe. Oh, is this Oka's weapon? Big ass axe? Is he also carrying a shield? Like big shield, tower shield and big axe? God damn. And a new sw sword dagger for him? Unicorn horn. Akugen. So next episode is where it really begins with the expedition starting. I can't wait, man! Hell yeah! And there we go, we start already a bit. What the hell is this? God damn! Did she learn that? Oh, he has a shield too. And he attacks. Oh, awesome, bro! Okay, she's not just carrying stuff, she's also attacking. Oh, here we go, Aisha! I love her so much, she's so cool. She's so badass. God damn! <laughs> Slicing and dicing. And here comes the Argonaut. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He gets to Endeavor levels from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Blue flames. Okay, here we come. Something deep in the in the dungeon. Or oh, the Minotaur, maybe, that survived and he killed someone. Okay, this was episode 1 of Stunmachi Season 4, and yeah, it's, it's more slow episode to get you back in, right? With lots of information, so much information that I couldn't read everything because there was so much text and it went by so fast. So I have to reread some stuff um, when I'm editing. Uh, but yeah, it's more like an episode with like, they train get to get stronger, they get information for the expedition and they get new armor to gear up to get better and bell obviously having his level four rank up we also like it's an expedition like in season one with the loki family where they took from other guilds some people like smiths and stuff to support the expedition to make it easier and now we have the same thing going on here and i can't wait to see where it's going because like i said it's kind of blind i don't really know where it's going because i can't remember the trailer really but i guess we will fight the minotaur from season three again because he escaped that might maybe be like in the middle of the season i would guess or maybe will be like the big enemy in the season because he gets even stronger because we saw that he dragged someone away i think that was the same minotaur and yeah i love to see the characters again and especially aisha because i love aisha i love her whole design i love the that she's tanned i love tanned anime girls her red lipstick her big ass sword she's badass she's aggressive and she reminds me a bit of obosa from zelda um just that she has a two-handed sword not a shield and sword and can't wait to see more of that and i can't wait to see where it's going with the other characters um because bell i'm wondering if he gets level five maybe in the middle of the season somewhere or maybe at the end of the season again because he will get level five eventually right it's just a question of when if it's at the end of the season like last season now he's for level maybe if there is a season five which might be a good possibility that they just carry on with the seasons and then maybe in the next season he's level five we will see but um yeah something interesting is also that the gods are like yeah they start off as like being weak and cry babies and stuff and then they get stronger and now the gods don't do anything anymore basically because the kids the children are doing basically everything but i guess that's just how it is because they grow stronger get better they understand the dungeons better at some point because they are going into the dungeons all the time and it's just like the progress right that they start off small the gods have to support them to get better and at some point they just can do their stuff on their own it's basically like life with a family goes right it's so it's very logical that it goes that way which i think was an interesting touch and yeah if you like what you saw if, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or a comment. I would really appreciate it and I would say till next time. Bye bye.